hey there i hope you guys are doing great so today in this video we are going to see how we can do the hypothesis testing for normality that is we want to know a particular data or sample is Gaussian distributed or not or is it normally distributed or not so before we begin i would like you guys to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the bell icon so that you do not miss anything so let's get started so first of all we will capture the data i will be using the mpg data that is the vehicle mileage data of c1 and i'll be executing it to see the top five rows of the data now that we have this data so we'll be looking at only a particular column say for example mpg so if we want to know whether this particular column is normally distributed or not or follows a gaussian distributed or not so first of all we will check it graphically what is the distribution it is following by distribution plot so we can see it looks slightly skewed towards right so this by graphically is not following the Gaussian distribution but we cannot say it with confidence that is this is not a conclusive insight this is just an insight right now so what we are going to do is we are going to do a hypothesis testing on it and the test that we are going to perform is the Shapiro test so Shapiro test for normality has an assumption that is the observation in each sample should be independent and identically distributed that means the each sample or each row should be independent from one another there should not be any dependency amongst the samples so that is the assumption and now we are going to form the hypothesis testing so what we should be writing is the null hypothesis as well as the alternative hypothesis so first of all in Shapiro test what is the null hypothesis so null hypothesis is that the data is normally distributed if the p-value is greater than the threshold alpha so now we can assume for example alpha as 5% so that is 0 0.05 so our null hypothesis looks like this the data is normally distributed or Gaussian if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 and now it is pretty easy to form the alternative hypothesis now what will be the alternative hypothesis it will be totally reverse of this that is the data is not normally distributed if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 so we can also add the equal to sign here because in null hypothesis we always try to have an equal to sign so we have written our hypothesis now that we know our null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis we are going to call this Shapiro library from scipy stats so how we are going to call it from scipy dot stats import Shapiro and then I will be writing to variables that is the first variable is stats and the second is p-value and I'm going to call this Shapiro and inside this Shapiro I'm going to pass the data so our data is TF MPG because we want to know the normality of this particular data and then I'm going to execute it and let us assume that our alpha is 0 0.05 that we have already written in the hypothesis and let us write a if statement that if the threshold is 0 0.05 and our p value is greater than 0 0.05 that means we can say with 95% confidence that the data is normally distributed and if it does not pass the threshold that it is less than the 0 0.05 then it is not normally distributed so I have written that only in this particular if statement and let us execute it and check so on executing we get that 
the data is not normally distributed because the value of p is much much lesser than the alpha that is five percent so we can say that with 95 confidence 95 percent confident that the data is not normally distributed and we had an insight that it looks cute and it doesn't look normally distributed so our insight was correct so let us see that is there any other way of checking whether we can check the normality so there is another way which is also known as d agostino's k2 normality test you can check for the reference on this some documentation available so that you will get to know more but i'll be covering all the things related which are relevant for you guys so the assumption is that observation in a sample are independent and identically distributed it's exactly the same assumption that we had in the shapiro test so we already got that and now we are going to form the null and the alternative hypothesis so now you can see the null and alternative hypothesis will be the same there is no going to be no difference in that so let's write that out so it's same as like we had for the shapiro test that is the alternative hypothesis is that the data is not normally distributed if p value is less than 0.05 and our null hypothesis is that the data is normally distributed that is gaussian if p value is greater than 0.05 and for doing d agostino's k2 normality test we will be calling the library normal test from scipy.stats and now we are going to call this normal test with two values two variables unpacking the result from this test and inside this we are going to pass our variable that is our data and we are going to execute it so we have now executed and we have the values inside the stats and p-value that we have instantiated with and now i'm going to write the similar if statement so that we can get the statement programmatically so i'll just execute it so i get this value that the p-value that is coming out of the test is this which is much much less than 0 0.05 it is actually negligible close to zero so we can conclude with 95 percent confidence that data is not normally distributed so our both the test on the same sample says that this is not a normal distribution so in this video we covered how we can get the inside about a data whether it is normally distributed or is it a skewed sample and then we also saw the two kinds of tests for normality that is the Shapiro test and the D Agostino's test and then we also saw what are the assumptions and how can we frame the null and the alternate hypothesis and we also saw how we can perform the test using scipy stats so that's all in this video I hope you guys like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. See you.